Welcome to a place where the technology does all the work for you and it feels like the future is happening right now. This place is Beijing, China. I'm Bureaus in China and today I'm taking you on a ride with me in a totally driverless car. It is a robo taxi. I am so excited. I'm using the app. It has already arrived. It's right here. I need to press the button to unlock the car. We're going to get in and we're going to check it out. I'm so excited. Let's go guys. Here it is. Let's get in the car. Oh, it's locked. You know why? You got to press this button on the app to do it. Let's see how easy it is to get into the car. Unlocked. Let's try again. Ta-da. Here is our ride. Let's go. Hello. Oh wait, nobody's here. <laughs> and now to begin our ride, I think we just press this right here. Let's go. Oh, it tells us to buckle up on the screen. Oh, look, 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 our first test. He didn't hit the driver. Yeah. You saw that? Ooh. Our first test. It's safe for the people outside. Whoa, it's so fast. <laughs> look, the wheel is turning like there's a real driver there. Pretty scary. Um, it's a little scary, but I'm into it. <laughs> I can't believe this car is totally driverless. There is no driver. The wheel is moving, it is changing lanes, but there is nobody up there. This is kind of an introvert's paradise. No one is going to talk to you, try to make small talk, annoy you. You can just get in the car and do your thing. My first impression of the car is that it's very comfortable. The temperature is perfect. I even was able to take off my jacket. Today is really cold outside. It's really windy. So I just feel all snuggly now in here. Also, the seats are comfy. I feel like I could take a nap in here, which is what I usually do when I take a ride in a taxi. <laughs> this car can literally sense everything that's going on outside. All of the lanes, all of the pedestrians, all of the scooters, all of the cyclists, even traffic cones. I've seen it since that, everything. And it shows me on the screen what is going on outside. And I have also seen that the cars in front of me, when they break, it senses that. It can check the red lights, the green lights, the yellow lights, everything. And if the lane that this car is in is going too slow, it will switch to another lane. And it even uses its blinker. Normal drivers in Beijing don't even use their blinker. So this car drives better than most drivers in Beijing. <laughs> This car has just done something better than I do it in Beijing. It made a left turn expertly. So I'm not sure if you know this, but drivers in Beijing are kind of maniacs sometimes. You don't know if they're gonna go super, super fast or use their blinker and so on. They are just unpredictable drivers. But this car took a left turn and did it wonderfully. And I guess it's due to all of the cameras and the sensors. It waited until all of the cars had passed or stopped and then it went. It didn't make any jerky movements like, oh, should I go, should I stop, should I wait? No, it was so smooth. I think that this car might drive a little bit better than me in Beijing, which is wild. Look at all it can sense. Everything that's popping up, that's real stuff that we are really seeing. This car is following the rules better than most DT drivers. I feel super safe. At first, I was a little bit nervous, I'm going to be honest, but now I know this car is almost a little bit more reliable than a DT driver. My experiences in the past have not been all great. Some DT drivers don't follow the rules. They drive aggressively, unpredictably, but this car is very predictable. It's a law-abiding citizen, which is fabulous. It uses the blinker. It slows down when it needs to. It doesn't follow too closely. I mean, everything that you could ask for, it does. And you can even change it to English, which is perfect for me and all of my English-speaking friends. And you know, guys, I always mention the price. The price of this is very affordable, and it is what I usually pay for a ride in Beijing. So what would you pick? Would you pick a driver that you don't know if he's having a good day or a bad day or if he's sleepy or if he likes to break the rules? Or are you going to pick a totally driverless car, an introvert's paradise, a napper's paradise? Nobody's going to bother you and ask you like, hey, where are you from? What's up? <laughs> how, how long you been here? <laughs> do you like China? Do you like to eat the food? I mean, those questions do help me practice my Chinese, but some days I'm just tired. I just need a quick little nap. This is the best ride I've ever taken in Beijing, and it doesn't even have a driver. Destination is about to arrive. Oh! Please wait for vehicles to stop fully before unfastening seatbelts. It's in English. 
it's in English. That is so easy to understand. If you don't speak Chinese and you're scared about coming to China, don't be, because so many things are in English. This is a very international city. We made it. <laughs> Thank you, driver. <laughs> Thank you so much for the wonderful ride. Oh wait, nobody's actually there. That was cool. China is living in the future, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Zaijian. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Cool. That was really cool. Hehehehe <laughs>